Hi everybody, welcome to the first of what might become a series of videos about editing and uh, changing the settings on your Nitrado Daisy server on your mobile phone. So this video is really aimed at people probably on PlayStation or Xbox who haven't got access to a PC or a laptop um, but have bought or are thinking about buying a Nitrado private server for Daisy um, and want to learn how to uh, how to mod it if you like. Now. Uh, we'll just be going through some basics in this um, video, but if you've got any specific things you'd like me to cover, put the questions below the description, you know, in the comment section down below, so I can kind of gauge how popular this sort of thing would be, and, and whether uh, there's lots of people out there who want to learn other things as well. So in this video, we're going to be going through changing your server name, using the password or the whitelist, we're going to be talking about the passage of time and how to make days longer and nights shorter, how to make it always summertime, how to turn off base damage, turn on your logs. Uh, we're going to look at server messages, so shutdown messages and restarts. Um, and we're going to be looking at how to make items spawn in pristine, how to have more helicopter crash sites. And we're going to have a brief look at changing item spawn rates. So first things first, you need to go you know, download the Nitrado app on your phone, um, sign in, and then we're going to go into to our server. So this is the basic dashboard of the server. Um, and we just want to go down to the bottom now see where it says server settings next to the spanner we just want to tap on that and straight away at the top what you'll see is the uh, host name um, the mission at the top that's which which map we're playing on so if you tap that we could change it to Livonia uh, it should save settings so if you go you can go back and forth host name just choose something simple that people can spell that is unusual as well that can help you know if you have daisy loot boosted server you probably have hundreds, so one T scale speed of gaming. Now you can have a password to limit access to your server. The problem with passwords though is obviously they can get past the round. So if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll get the whitelist. Now what you do with the whitelist is you put people's Xbox or PlayStation usernames in there. Make sure you spell it correctly. That way they won't need to use a um, password when they log in. Very, very, very useful. That's how I do it on my private servers. Um, and then there's the ban list above there as well. Scroll down a bit further, we have the server time multiplier and the server night time multiplier. So this is how you make days longer and nights shorter or vice versa. You can't really go wrong with my settings, 2 and 30. Um, what this means is during the day, um, days would normally last about 12 hours, wouldn't they? So my days actually last 6 hours because time goes twice as fast. Now the server time multiplier applies across day and night, but there's also the night time multiplier. So I have mine set to 30, which means that nights really last about 15, well, 10 to 15 minutes on my server, which I think is, is long enough. Now scroll down a bit more, and this is how we can make it so it's summertime all the time on our server. You untick use system time and untick persistent server time and change the custom server time to 2019 slash 06 slash 01 slash 10 slash 00 so this means that every time the server starts it will be 10 o'clock on the 1st of june 2019 so that will be you know a nice summer's morning on churnerus it will still rain it will still you know get foggy and well cold at night and cold at high altitude but you'll be getting kind of the best weather that you can get i suppose it might get a little bit warmer in july but that's the way to do that. Now, keep scrolling down. As you can see, we could deactivate third person, deactivate the crosshair. That's kind of how you make a hardcore server. Reduce log output if you didn't want all the stuff in the logs. Receipt, reset Mission XL, leave that. Now, log damage, log placement, log base building, log player list. So this is, allows you to really keep an eye on what people are doing um, so that if you're trying to track people's behavior and things like that. Keep scrolling down, mouse and keyboard we can enable. And we could disable base damage and disable container damage. Very powerful these things, um, especially for PVE servers, you know, where people sometimes get up to naughty things. But you can say actually you can't smash through uh, base walls and you can't break into containers and destroy them, which is uh, which is pretty good. So next thing's next next thing's next. <laughs> Let's have a look at server messages and restart so to do that we're going to uh, tap on those three little lines in the top left hand corner and we want to go to the file browser 
we're going into the XMLs now. So Daisy PS missions, because this is a PlayStation server. So we tap on that. Uh, it says Cherner is plus. It would be Enoch if it was a Livonia server. And we go in, and then the, we want to go into the DB directory, the DB folder at the top. Now, what we're going to be messing around with is the messages.xml uh, file. First thing you want to do is you just want to press and hold load that file because if you download it that means you've got a backup so if something goes wrong you can see near the bottom you can re-upload it but let's tap on globals sorry clap on messages <laughs> tap on messages that's the file we're working with and scroll down you'll won't yours won't look exactly like this but this is a really useful file because the file we want the the kind of the bit of the file is the bit that says Follow message will be displayed to every player in countdown manner and shuts down the server in 10 hours from its start, which is which is what we want, isn't it? And as you can see, you've got the opening tag, which is message, uh, deadline 600, shutdown 1, text, and then message. Uh, that's the closing tag. So what we do is we want to press and hold on the screen, and we literally want to copy this, and we want to go to the top uh, underneath where it says messages, Make some space and then we just want to tap and hold we want to paste it there and then what we're going to do we're just going to change the deadline to 720 there we go so that means that every 12 hours the server will shut down and then every sort of, uh, after six hours, after two hours, after one hour, after half an hour, after five minutes, after two minutes, after 30 seconds, the players in the bottom left-hand corner of their DZ screen will get a little message saying, this server will shut down in, and so they get that warning. Um, and then what you'd want to do is in the bottom right-hand corner, you'd want to hit save. Now, I've already done it, so we're going we're gonna to cancel that. So that also means, though, going back to everything being summertime all the time, the server is restarting every 12 hours, so that's when it restarts to the 1st of June. So it's very powerful, that, that little um, that little bit adjustment we've done there. So let's, uh, you would cancel that. Now, when you want to um, make these changes come into effect, you do need to restart the server. And I'll, I'll show you to do that in a bit. So the next thing we want to do is, is make items spawn in pristine. So we want to go back, pressing the, the little uh, sideways U, and we want to go to CFG spawnable types that XML that one in the middle or, or config spawnable types that XML again you want to press and hold it and you want to download that file so you've got back up before we play around with it then if you tap on it we can go into it now right at the top you'll see it says action blah 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 standalone yes spawnable types here it says damage min and damage max now your file won't say that yours will probably say damage min 0.1 damage max 0.7 now if you change those figures to 0.1 and 0.2 that means that items will always spawn in pristine which is a really big change for a server because it means things last so much longer axes guns clothes it does make a big difference to people's survivability again bottom right hand corner tap that save button um, and then when we restart the server, that will come into effect. I'm going to cancel it because I've already done it. So the next thing we want to look at is increasing helicopter spawns. DB file or directory, which is near the top, so tap on that one. And this is going to be in the events.xml file. Again, press and hold on it. You want to download that so you've got a backup before we start. Then you just want to tap on it. Now this is quite a big file. and You've always got to be careful when you're scrolling down because it's very easy to type something by mistake. Um, but we just scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. Now what I will do is in later videos, if people want me to, I'll show you how you can use a text editor on your phone to make these changes much, much simpler. Now as we scroll down. These are all the zombies. almost there static heli crash now there we go now if you look at the, your one will say something like three so the number of chances of you coming across a heli crash you can increase now don't go crazy 
I've gone to I've gone to 14 here. So there's 14 chances of you coming across a helicopter crash at any one time on the map. Now, in reality, what will happen is there will only ever be three of these actually spawned into existence. But you'll have more chances of finding them. So change that to like 14. Then if you scroll down a bit, you'll see the bit where it says child. Um, and we've got loot max, loot min. You can put them to 20 and 10. And then max and min, so 7 and 5 and 7 and 5. So change them. You'll notice that that number adds up to the nominal value. So 7 add 7 is, uh, is 14. And then you would save that. And then uh, when we restart the server, they will come into effect. Now finally, before we look at restarting the server, let's have a brief look at... Um, let's go back a brief look at it, uh, editing uh, items. Now you edit the items in the types that XML file, but again, you want to press and hold on it. So you want to download a, ver a backup version and then tap on. Now this is a very large file, very large file, the types that XML, very, very easy to make mistakes. The way that this works is if we start at the top, you'll see it says type name, ACOG optic, nominal 15. So that means of the ACOG optics, so that little thing you put on them, like an M4 uh, M4A1, there should be 15 of them at any one time on the server. Or it might be different on your one. So the way that you would change that is you could increase that number, say, but if you carefully tap on it, that's why you have to be so careful, say to 20. And then we have to change the minimum as well, say 15. And then we would we could save that so you can go down you can slowly scroll down you can change the amount say the ak 101 you could oh, ignore the black ones that's, that's, that's another subject altogether ak 101 change it from whatever it is say to 20 but make sure you increase the minimum as well very very easy to make mistakes on this file if you're editing it like this in the file browser and also where you're adding stuff in you should take stuff away so if you're adding another 60 or 70 assault rifles you want to be taking away 60 or 70 of something else so the server remains balanced and then you would save that what we're probably going to do is look at the event the uh, items.xml you know it, uh, editing the loot quantities using a text editor rather than doing it in the nitrado file browser within the app but that should give you a taste of how to do it just be very careful because it's very easy to make mistakes so now let's go back to the dashboard scroll to the top see where it says restart tap that server to restart and our changes would then take effect so there we go that's my first sort of small video on how to modify how to uh, mod how to change the settings on your nitrado daisy custom community private server if there's specific things you'd like me to cover again put them in the comment section below and then I'll make a list and then we can go in and do them that way. Um, if you found the video useful, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon.